Hey everybody and welcome into HelenKennard.com. I'm Helen Kennard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome, welcome. I am so far behind today. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I did. It's kind of like one of those things when you tell yourself, don't do that. And then you think, no, I'll be all right. No, don't, don't do it. Um, I did a couple of things today and, and I kept thinking, no, don't do it. Um, but anyway, um, I put away some new product from the new catalog, the mini catalog, and then I cannot find them anywhere. I have searched hours because I had two projects that I was going to uh, work on tonight, and I was determined I was going to find them. And uh, partly because I have two initiatives for the next two or three months that I wanted to talk to you about. I hope y'all can show up. Hey, say hey when you get here so I'll know you're here and who I'm crafting with tonight. Again, um, I have two initiatives. One is um, over the next three months, I want to do a, gr a Grateful Heart movement. So, you know, I'm going to concentrate several of my projects, not only on my Facebook Lives or my Reels, or, um, but also in my classes on being grateful. And there's so many reasons to be grateful. And I know that some people may not feel like that right now, but when you think of all the people in your life and in your heart, um, that are there for you, that um, you're there for them, and you really want to appreciate them. And that's um, one of the things, many things that Stampin' Up! does for me is being able to share with people how grateful I am for them and to show them that. But look at this card. This one is uh, with a grateful heart. Isn't that pretty? Um, but this is an example, so I'm going to make this for you tonight um, using a walk in the park designer series paper and autumn leaves. So I'm really excited about all the new products. Again, I had to um, rethink what my projects were going to be tonight because I have looked and looked and looked and could not find um, my dies or my stamps. <laughs> I've set them somewhere and you know they couldn't be underneath all this stuff believe me it's my I keep my room clean and straightened up believe me not <laughs> but anyway I'm sure they're right here and I'm looking right at them and can't see them have you have you ever done that you can't see them because they can't see the trees because of the forest well that's me <laughs> but anyway um what I want to do tonight is um, show you a design, a card design, that uh, Casing Tuesday is a group of stampers that um, take a, a design out of the catalog and then either remakes it exactly like it is in the book or they come up with their own idea. So, and they do it on Tuesday. So go to that um, uh, gr group, it's a group and it's called Casing Tuesday um, and join and, and participate, it's a lot of fun, but this week they are doing uh, the card on page 5, which is really, really pretty, isn't that pretty? Um, and they put out, you know, the sketch for you so you can, can follow along with it, and what I was going to do was one for my grateful movement and one for my Christmas series. And I was, this one's my grateful and I, would, I, I cannot find the, the other product that I was gonna use for my Christmas. So I'll have to do that next time. But I do have um, another project that I'm gonna do for my Christmas, but you're gonna have to help me because I haven't already designed it yet, but it's gonna be easy peasy to do that when you see what it is. But anyway, again, I'm using um, the designer series paper. Let me let me focus in on that. 
Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this is called Walk in the Park. Ooh, look at that. Some really, really pretty, pretty earthy kind of, um, look at that one's pretty too. They're all pretty, but anyway, what's really cool about this paper is that you can punch and the dies uh, will cut these trees out. So it's a really cool designer series paper when you can do that. So what I did was I went to the back and looked up what cardstock would go with this. And it says balmy blue, but I, I didn't want to use balmy blue, which would have been that color right there. Um, cherry cobbler, garden green, old dollop, pecan pie, and pretty peacock, which is the other one that I decided to use. Isn't that pretty? Those are some pretty colors that all go with this. But I decided to use the pretty peacock. But I wanted to remind you how you, you know, Stampin' Up! makes it that easy for you to figure out what colors go with what. So I have already um, cut this out for us. And I wanted to show you how easy it is. So this is four and a fourth by five and a half. We're going to score that. Look at that, I've already gotten all this in a mess. So, okay, so then this is uh, two and a half by five and a half. All of these measurements are going to be on my um, blog at www.helenkenner.com uh, tomorrow and uh, you'll have all the measurements but um, I knew that would happen darn let's see maybe I can use this yeah okay You want to leave maybe a quarter of an inch right there. Okay, we're doing good so far. All right. Now, what's cool, again, about this paper is that you can punch it out. We've got a really cool punch. It's a bear punch. Hey, Diana. Oh, thank you. Hey, Naomi. So glad y'all could come. Oh. Okay, let's see. Do you see how this designer series paper... Oh, let me move this to here and see if that'll be better. Or I may have to trim it. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We sure did. But you know what? It's always nice to get home, isn't it? Always nice to sleep in your own bed and all of that. So this is uh, one of the punches that uh, that you can get with uh, as a bundle. See, look how easy that was. No fussy cutting. And again, if I could find my die that would cut this out, but since I can't find it, I'm going to have to cut it out. <laughs> Fussy cut. So you guys just hang hang with me for a minute. But uh, yeah, we had a great time. And it was funny because we had talked ourselves out of this was going to be our last year going to Darlington. And um, that Albert he turned 75 this year. And he wants to start spending more time with his family and my family and doing things together, which we've been doing. But um, his family has a uh, get-together 
like a week or two before we go to Darlington. But anyway, we decided that we weren't going to go to that and that we because we had already paid for Darlington. But then we started thinking about, you know, we really do need to start doing that. And uh, so we talked ourselves into we're not going to go to Darlington next year. Well, then we started reminiscing of all the funny things that have happened over the past, I don't know, 10 years that we've been going. And I'll tell you just a few of them. Uh, one of the first things that I, when I think about going to Darlington, um, was we we had, um, well, we've, I think every year we've been, we have uh, went camping. The first time we went camping, we we went with one of those pop-up campers that like is flat and then you have to lift it up and then the the um, beds fold out. We had a camper like that for for years. And of course we get all the way down to Darlington. It's pouring down rain and the pop-up won't come up. <laughs> the um one of the um they have these little metal things. Anyway, we couldn't get it up. So my husband's so frustrated. He's like, all right, I'm going home. I said, oh, heck no, we're not. We are going to go get us a tent. So we went to Walmart and bought us a tent, came back, put the tent up. with a. And we had to buy a um, blow-up mattress and... There we were, camping, <laughs> like really camping. Oh, but we love that story because, um, I don't know, it was one of our first times going on. Now I can't find my, my um, hmm, shammy. You know, I'm just in a mess today for some reason. But anyway, we, um, that was funny. The next year we had our camper, brought the same one, we had it fixed, took the same one down. And, you know, on Sunday, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, it is packed. And I don't know how many acres they have of um, campers, but I don't know, a bunch. And so we're, we're sitting there in a group, you know, I want to say hundreds. There's probably a hundred. But on Monday, you know, which is Labor Day, everybody heads home. Well, we wake up on that first Monday that we went and step out of our tent and we're the only ones there. Hey, Carol. I'm... Send me your address, Carol. It's, it's through Messenger if you can. I've got some cards uh, that I want to send you for sharing, sharing my my um, Facebook Live. So I have some I have some cards for you. They're in an envelope waiting. I was I've been waiting for you, so I could tell you to send me your address. But anyway. So we're, we walk out, you guys, and we are the only ones there in, I don't know, a hundred acres. I don't know how, you know, I'm not good at that, but, um, yeah, it, there, there's nobody. We're the only ones and we, um, are sitting there and I, it's just shocking because the day before you know you're there with hundreds of people and then you get up and all that's left is all this trash and they have you know they have people out there cleaning up the next day but it was hysterical I, we were laughing about it just this weekend you know just because again you know you're sitting there and you're you know what we didn't even hear them leave and boy they leave early like some of them we talked to have have driven down like it may have taken two days for them to get there. But anyway, uh, that was funny. Well, one year, 
Elber brought some money and he decided, well, we're going to, we're going to hide this money so that it's, you know, that I don't have it on me the whole time. So we hid the money in the trail and forgot about it. And then uh, we got home and could not find it anywhere. For months, we never found it. We thought we had lost it. Well, we went out there and started getting it ready for the spring. And guess what? The money fell out. <laughs> we were so happy. And we thought we had lost that money. And it was hundreds of dollars. So that would, it made a, it would have been a big deal to have lost it. I guess we did just fine without it for six months, right? So, um, there, what do you think? I've been talking this whole time. Minnesota. Gosh, Carol, that's pretty cool. Okay. I forgot to put something on the inside, but y'all know that, right? With a grateful heart. Aren't these, um... It's, these are adhesive back glitter sequins. But look, can you tell that they like glitter? Yeah, they're really pretty. And again, I punched that. I did fussy cut that just because I, I can't find my, um, my dies after looking for hours. I hate to tell y'all I look for hours. Anyway. All right. This next project is using... It's going to be starting my Christmas series, and it's going to be using the Memories and More cards. Now, you know, we have two sizes of cards that come in a pack. Look at all that. Look at all that. Now, this one has cards and stickers. Really cool stickers. Look at all those. Aren't they cool? But Seasons Greetings, Merry Christmas, and Christmas is Better Together. Oh, he needs to get on over there, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, again, I did exactly what I've been doing and telling y'all to do is that you go to the back and it'll tell you what colors go with it. So I went and pulled those and Flirty Flamingo, Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight, uh, Very Vanilla, and uh, Real Red are all the colors that go with this. But with it comes the card bases. These are the two card bases that you get. And these are the envelopes. I just think the envelopes are the coolest part of it. Look at that. Wouldn't that be neat to get this in the mail? So we're going to use this one and that one. We're going to put this up for another time, but I wanted to show it to you. I'll do it later. And, all right. This is the card I want to use, but you know they come in, oh, this is the back side. Isn't that neat? Look at that one. I really like that one. Presents. North Pole notes. <laughs> so some really cool things on the back of it, but I want to use this one. All right, let's see which one we like. Y'all help me now. So it was beautiful today. Good gracious, it was 95 degrees and 100% humidity here, it seems like. Oh, thanks, Diana. Thank you. Whew. Yeah, it was hot today. All right, y'all help me. See, I really like the red. 
Now that one, I, I like that too, but then you can't see that as well, which then brings me to the Misty Moonlight that I really like that one too. Or the Night of Navy. Y'all help me. Hey, Char from Wisconsin. <laughs> Ooh, now I like that one now that I'm there. Okay, and then that one. What do y'all think? Now I do like that one too. Misty Moonlight. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's between the Night of Navy and it kind of lightens it up a little bit, doesn't it? All right, not uh, Misty Moonlight. I'm dropping everything already tonight. Let me see. Do y'all remember? My friend gave me this. Penny Roo. Look, see how neat that was? I dropped my scissors. Do y'all have one of these? I have it right here just for that reason. All right. Let me get my cutter out here. Okay. These are uh, three by fours, I think. Yeah. So we want a car. What do we want? We might want a little bit bigger than a fourth of an inch. Do we want bigger? I like to show that much. Let me get this. That doesn't, if I go that way, if I go this way, it doesn't give me a lot of room, but it does a lot better if I go this way. So that way I could go maybe a half inch on each side. Yeah, I think I like that. So three, so that would be four. Four by five, right? Five by four. Let's see what that looks like. And do it. No, that doesn't look right. Does it? No, that doesn't look right. I'm going to have to make it smaller. Okay. So I do four. I better do three and a half. Okay, three and a half. And I did five. So I'm going to do four and a half. See if I like that better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Isn't that cute on this red background? Or um, red base? Just that simple. Yeah, I'm going to love this memory and more stuff. Let me make it okay. I guess I could round off the um, corners some. Now I'm going to just leave it as is. Y'all, Char sent me a picture of her, um, I think, Mustang. Wasn't it a Mustang, Char? That was so beautiful. Now, was it, um, let me move that. Was that gray? 
It was beautiful, whatever color that was. Do I need anything else? I've got the um, the bling. Before I put this on, anything else? So it was gray. Oh. Next week I'll have one. This one's so simple, isn't it? I thought I had the bling. Now what did I do with it? There it is. Okay. Put it on the right way. I met this lady, Shore, that was sitting there. You know, my husband's rambling on about motors and, I don't know, paint jobs and <laughs> all this stuff that I didn't know anything about. And I found this lady sitting there, Shore. So I start talking to her, and her uh, boyfriend had one. I forgot what which one he had, but it's so interesting to talk to the women that go to these shows. I mean, they can talk just like the men can about, you know, the eight eight cylinder and the what kind of muffler it was, all of that. Oh, this turned out really good, didn't it? Real simple and fast, especially since I was an hour late. Dunk on it. Look at that. I would just love to get this envelope in the mail. All right, you guys. Start, start looking for some of my reels that have Christmas cards um, and grateful cards. Because I want to go ahead and get that started. Um, some of my classes are going to be you know, available to go. So if you're interested in that, you can certainly um, sign up for my newsletter that's on my blog. And that way you can stay up on everything that's going on. And then, yeah, I'm glad I added that bling. That really adds that sparkle to it, doesn't it? Give the gift of Christmas cheer. You love Christmas, Naomi? So do I. So do I. All right, you guys. Well, that was real fast, wasn't it? Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, I'll be back next Wednesday. Now, you'll never know if I'm going to be here at 6 o'clock or 8. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do try to get here at 7. But I just knew I was going to find those dies and just couldn't find those dies. Anyway, I'll find them this week and then we'll use them again next week. But um, I hope y'all have a great week. You know, our new catalog came out today. If anybody needs a catalog, let me know. I'll be glad to get you one. And there's a couple of things that are on back, back order right now. But... Um, we're doing good with staying up on all of that. So don't worry, but go ahead and uh, if there's something you just have to have. Go ahead and put your order in for that. But um, anyway, if you have any questions about anything that we've done today, again, again I'm going to put the measurements of all this on my blog. So, so you'll need to go there, www.helenkenner.com. And um, 
find the measurements and stuff and and then the dies and stuff that I used but you, you know already that I used a, a walk in the park designer series paper and cut out both of these so um and then this is the memory and more so and this is the card bases these are the cards and this is the card base and envelope so that match it so if you guys have any questions certainly let me know i hope y'all have a great week oh thank you thank you thanks everybody um i appreciate all of your uh support every single one of you and i hope y'all have a great week and um i'll see you next wednesday take care now thanks for coming already bye bye